Well, the Harper government is getting an earful about Bill C-51, and that includes criticism from at least one high-profile conservative. His name is Ron Atke, and he's the former head of the advisory group that oversees Canada's spy service. As our chief political correspondent Tom Clark is here to tell us, Atke believes the Harper government's plans for oversight of CSIS falls short, and that's not all. Tom. What's emerged after the hearings last week into C-51 are two fundamental complaints from the critics. First of all, oversight, and also whether the bill is even constitutional. On the question of oversight, though, the government hasn't budged. It says that the existing provisions under CERC, that is the Security Intelligence Review Committee, a committee appointed by the Prime Minister, is more than adequate to oversee the activities of CSIS even with expanded powers for CSIS. Here, for example, is how that is explained by Justice Minister Peter McKay. Take a listen. It's a review committee, but it also has the ability to interact with those agencies and do so in a way that I think provides the understanding that all of those activities will be reviewed. That is a form of oversight in my view. But a former chairman of CERC, in fact, the very first chairman of CERC, Ron Atke, himself a conservative, says that that's wrong. First of all, he says the committee is underfunded, simply doesn't have the resources to do oversight, and it says it doesn't even have the proper mandate to do it. He, in fact, agrees with the critics that there has to be parliamentary oversight. In other words, the establishment of a committee of MPs to oversee the activities of CSIS. Here's Ron Atke. Uh, I think you need a committee of parliamentarians who are properly security cleared, uh, members of the House and the Senate, uh, to uh, deal with problems as they arrive, uh, as they arise, and act as an overview committee to see that the problem is properly dealt with. It's delegated to the appropriate review body, as the case may be. As to that other complaint, Atke agrees that the bill itself, or at least parts of it, may not even be constitutional specifically dealing with the provision that says that CSIS could go to a judge to seek an exemption from the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. That, he said, would probably never pass the sniff test in the Supreme Court of Canada.